Today, we're taking a look at the Top Bend K8 1080p autofocus projector, a projector that offers a very impressive 1080p image with autofocus and keystoning on startup, as well as some very impressive sound. Now, during my time with the K8, I was immediately impressed with what was being put out. One thing that I like to look out for is color accuracy and the K8 delivers. It's 800 anti-lumens delivers colors that pop, making the image very lively. Skin tones look natural, animation jumps out, and fast motion and action, well, it's all very smooth. You can also play 4K content through this, which also gives you a sharp and vibrant image. Now, one of the reasons why the picture holds up is the intelligent autofocus and auto 60 screen correction. The autofocus always makes sure your image is as sharp as it can be. And if need be, you can also adjust the focus via the, well, the remote. With your auto 60 screen correction, if your projector is not exactly lined up, it will auto correct itself, giving you a straight and leveled image. You also have the option to keystone it manually or zoom in and out of your image. And I'll tell you this, it makes it so much more easier for me to set up because no longer am I spending so much time just trying to line the projector up, get it leveled perfectly on a tripod or a flat table. It just does it by itself. And like I said before, everything is done automatically and fast. Now, one thing that did take me by surprise was the sound. Uh, during my test, the K8's Hi-Fi dual stereo speakers delivers full and loud audio, which in my opinion, you really don't need additional speakers or a separate soundbar. Here, take a listen. If you miss a line in the game, you reset. If you miss it on the track, you could die. Also, don't forget, you can connect Bluetooth speakers to this if you like. Speaking about sound, well, the sound of the fan of the projector is actually very quiet compared to other projectors. So this will work well in small environments where you don't want to be bothered by the fan. Put all of this together and you get a great cinematic home experience. You can also connect this to your smartphone through the mirroring option. Just make sure your projector and smart device is on the same network. Okay, go to your casting option for your device, then select the K8 on your smart device, then you're connected. Now, to be honest, this is where I had some issues. While the process was easy, I did experience lag and drops at times. Okay, let's talk about gaming. Again, the picture and sound top notch, but I really wouldn't recommend this for gaming. The input lag was very noticeable for me, making it hard to enjoy gaming, which is okay because I prefer to watch movies on this anyway, but it would have been nice. Now, as far as what you get inside the box, we get a carrying case that doubles as a book bag for your projector, an HDMI cord, power cord, AV cord, remote, and well, of course, the projector. Now, when you look at the front of your projector, you'll see it's fully sealed optical engine. In practice, it's a sliding lens cover to protect the lens from being damaged when it's stored away, but it also keeps dust out of the element as well. You also have backlit touch buttons that are responsive and give it a nice accent when being used. All right, let me give you my final thoughts. Well, when it comes to image and sound, this is a no brainer. This is Top Bend's K8, in my opinion, strongest feature. Also, it's autofocus and keystoning are fast and convenient, but the mirroring and gaming experience has much to be desired. But if you're looking for a solid, affordable option to bring that cinematic movie experience into your home, well then a Top Bend K8 is a solid option. All right, hope this video helped you out, enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own K8 movie projector. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.